Hey y'all, uh, here at the Scotty D Traveling Charity Roadshow at Auctions America Park in Auburn, Indiana. And a buddy of mine uh, from uh, Seven, Summit City Chevrolet, it's always hard for me to say, Jeff, he's got a uh, 69 Camaro, very nice car. I can never get him to bring it out and show it to me though. And that's uh, for this show, such a big show, he, he, uh, he came out of his uh, Golden Castle and uh, brought it down for me to see. So I'm excited to bring it to you. Um, it's a really nice car and uh, he's a great guy. So anyways, let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a look at it. Jeff, how are you, brother? I'm doing awesome, Scotty. How are you? Outstanding. Always glad to see you. Always glad to see Even you. Even if I kick you in the nuts, I'm still glad <laughs> to see you. <laughs> now, you wouldn't bring this car down to me. You kept telling me, hey, I'm still putting it together. It's not perfect. Finally, here it sets. Yeah, I'm still working on it, though, a little bit. Sure. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's a 69 uh, Camaro, obviously. Um, it's an X11 car. So what's that mean? X11 is just the trim code. Okay. Um, Originally a Le Mans blue ivory white car. Is that what this is? Nope, this is kind of a Huntington pearl blue metallic. Uh, the paint and the body was done in 1989. No. Yep, 1989. You're a lion car salesman. Nope. Huh? Nope. <laughs> 1989? 1989. Oh, I, I hear I'm getting ready to embarrass myself again. What is that, 30 years? 25. 25 years, yep. dude. Did you do the work? Nope. No? But I've done... Uh, you do a lot of mechanical stuff. I do a lot of it, not all of it. I got a buddy, uh, Mick Bodigan, who uh, I like Mick. helps out a lot with um, um, the bigger stuff that I, A, can't do or don't have time to do, but I enjoy working on the car and tinkering a lot. That's because John don't let you leave that dealership. I work a lot, but you know what? I enjoy every minute. Yeah, no, he's a good guy to work for in a great super, place. Super, super guy. If you're ever looking for a Chevrolet, that's where I'm coming. Tell me, is these stripes, they're not white? Are they a little off-white? They're a little off-white. Like they're not supposed no, to be bright, right, but yeah, right. a little off-white. No, I, 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 that's a bad word to work. It's just, a, it's just, a, it's not, a, it's not a bright white. That's right. Put it, but I like it. And I like what you even, you took your stripes back to the, uh, the call. Yeah, that's yeah. actually how they did it in 69. Really? Yeah. Wow. Man, that is awesome, dude. It's just, uh, the car's uh, trying to keep as much of the stock appearance of the car but yet a little bit of uh, resto mod here and there right. with the wheels and the suspension and um, some other things i've done the engine and things of that nature so trying to keep as much of the original and just to kind of have a traditional resto. looking 69 camaro right yeah i mean everybody's going pro pro touring, pro touring yeah and pro street and all that but this is kind of a you know, 70s kind of a look. Yeah, it's more of a... It's not, a, it's not a, 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 a exact wheel. It's a much better wheel from back then. But yeah, billet specialties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to... It's just a It's a street drag car. Right, yeah. That's what it's got to look. It's got to look like that. Just Nice job, though. What kind of shape was it in when you got it? Oh, I mean, the uh, body and paint, obviously, was like this. I mean, we've uh, cut on it a little bit. A couple buddies of mine are real good at uh, stuff, but it needs it again. But anyway, um, I was in great shape. I've just been tinkering with everything are you done no what's your next next thing you want to do to it uh we're gonna put a whole willwood brake setup on it and probably a caltrack rear suspension awesome and then i just put a whole new state custom ricks tank stainless stealth tank and whole new fuel system in from front to back all aeromotive stuff wow. how long you had the car uh, i've had it a couple years yeah yeah how's it compared to that new corvette Oh, well, totally, two totally different worlds. I know, but I still ask the question answer. <laughs> oh, the new Corvette is... Uh, Drives better, handles better, rides handles better. way better. Not as fun to drive. No. Not as fun you to drive. You don't get the looks That's and the it. Yeah. thumbs ups like you do with this car. Folks, you got to know that Jeff is just a great guy, and I get him out here, and he's a, he's a guy that I can do things like that, too, so that's why I'm giving him grief now. He's got a beautiful car. And it is two different worlds to ask them what what a 69 and a 2014 Corvette. I mean, you're just talking about night and day, you know. But man, what a nice car. Was it originally an SS car? You know, to be honest with you, Scotty, I don't really know. Right. I think it was, but I haven't done that. Was it research. SS badged when you got it? Yes. Okay. I haven't done the deep research to see if it was a real SS car. And I don't know if they, I guess it was in the VIN number somewhere on that. Yeah. Or not, I don't I know. I can find out for sure, but sure. But you hate to, in case it wasn't. <laughs> right looky looky now we're talking right yeah you spent a little time and money under here oh yeah and what motor are you running in uh, it's a aluminum headed 468 big block with a roller cam have you dynoed it have not uh actually the motor was dynoed right, right around 600 horse yes who did that for you um the guy up in lansing or uh, lansing michigan what's his name uh i can't even think of his I name i got you no 
That happens. Boy, that's nice, man. This is your baby. I know it is, man. What a nice car, Jeff. Yeah, hey, there again, it's not perfect, but uh, it's a lot of fun. I do drive it a little bit here and there, so didn't want a trailer queen. No, I got gotcha. you. But uh, it's a super, super nice driver. And let's not keep, I mean, let's not forget. I mean, let it be lost. This thing's like, what did you say, 15 years old? 20, 25, 25 year, year old restoration. Yeah, restoration, mm -hmm. dude. And that's still way straight. I mean, that's mm -hmm. not on even your list of next things to do. No. Why mess with that? I can use brakes before I can use that. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep going with the with the mods until I get it where I want it. How much horse are you trying to hit? Oh, I mean, uh, I'm pretty good with the horsepower, but it's just this is trying to get the brakes. suspension mods done. Yeah, I got all tubular upper and lower control arms, QA1 coil over shocks. Mm. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah. What a nice car. Did you have fun at the show this weekend? It's been a blast. Thank you so it's much. It's been great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the support so much City Chevrolet gives us. Absolutely. And thank you for you personally, Jeff. Yeah, Because I welcome. know anytime I walk in there, it doesn't matter if you have customers in your office or not. Right. I walk in on you. You know what I'm saying? I just right. feel like we have that kind of friendship. Yeah. Because you're going to tell them that dude's nuts. Don't worry about him. You know. <laughs> but no, I appreciate everything you and John do for me. I appreciate man. Thanks it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Folks, there you go. There's one really nice 69 Camaro from the Scotty D Travel and Charity Roadshow. Auctions America Park in Auburn, Indiana. If you've not made it this year, make sure you make it next year, man. We've had a great time this weekend, and as you can see from the cars I'm shooting, just some top-notch cars showed up. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this one. See ya!